Hello there. It's your boy, Tasty Cake. Let's do this as a Star Wars video. So, let's do some accumulation. My best friend, since forever, got me a lot of Star Wars stuff because he works at Disney, so he can be, can be considered a cast member. So he gets his discounts, like, you know, whatever it is, 40% off. He gave me a ton of things. I said, what did you do? He said, at the ESN, ESPN Experience, I guess it's closed down. I can't remember which park it was either. They just had their, you know, all cast members go in, buy what you want for pennies on a dollar. Now, I have not uploaded the pictures onto the fan page, which I would uh, suggest... I appreciate you going to my fan page on Facebook, Reverend Amagon at, no, Reverend Amagon on YouTube. I have like 15 subscribers and 12 likes. I think that was it. It's a higher number of half as many subscribers than here, but you know, that's why you should go over and look. Right now it's all on Facebook. I can transfer, but you know. I should try and still clear my mind up because I got to prepare for work tomorrow. But he got me most of the things that I already bought through, you know, finding out Disney had it and then trying to get it through the Disney website or on eBay through some Disney seller or just someone selling Disney stuff. So I probably have like three to five things that he did not get me and things I was like, what? So I got a lot of extras now. They're all in storage right now. Except for the... I showed on... The page. The big... big, big there's my hand there. Yeah. Uh, my big? My big one. Yeah, about the big. R2 W... WD50. Oh, give me a second. I'll put it show you an example okay here it is the bigger scale version of this r2 w50 but big i mean like bigger than my head kind of thing you know i'm opening this one because the plastic's been crushed you know crush it i try to fix it but you know it's crushed so he'll come out of the package as i carefully cut around the plastic Save the card, you know. So, you know, the multi sets, the, the vampire one, the art, the R series droid that was a vampire, like R, R7 Fang, something like that. I have like four of them because I usually get one in the package and one in the display, but the, other, the others are still in storage right now. It's just, I just can't. The giant sand crawler, which is like, you know, um, this big, you know, regular price 70 bucks. He would, uh, I guess his discount's around 40. I think that's the Disney discount, but pennies on the dollar. So I'm guessing pennies on a dollar, probably been $20 for that sucker. It's like, because going through Disney and avoiding the people, I'm just trying to remember all these things that are happening and three years later. Uh, this week starts the 25th anniversary of Animal Kingdom. So I think we're going to jump on Animal Kingdom next year. See, either I just don't remember. I mean, I couldn't go through Facebook. We, go, we either went to Epcot next or we went to Animal Kingdom next. We're trying to like do one, in, but because of the three-year gap from it closing the day before I was supposed to go, it just kind of like pff, threw everything off. I think we're going to probably do Animal Kingdom for the 25th anniversary items. Because either way, Disney's 50th anniversary, Magic Kingdom's 50th anniversary stuff, uh, ended last week. So two years later, I was able to get some 50th anniversary stuff. That'll be another video, Disney, just Disney items. Even though this is Disney merchandise, it's still Star Wars primarily. So that's why I'm talking about it. And other things. 
I think I'm going to jump to Animal Kingdom so I can get some a couple little 25th anniversary items from them. You know, it's your 20, 26th anniversary. Then go to Epcot after that. Then jump back to Magic Kingdom. And it's all believing that you know, we're not going to go boom because, you know, everyone on the east side decided to go, you Americans and everything. Oh, you Americans. Don't, don't, don't. So we're see. So plan for the best. No, hope for the best, plan for the worst. So, yeah. You know, hope that when we get to Disney, it's, I got to gotta decide before November. Am I going back to Orlando in February or April? If I go back in February, that's before spring break. If I go in April, spring break is over, but it's going to be a little hotter. So that's what I'm aiming at. With the coolness. So most likely in February, late February, I'll be back. And so we'll hit uh, the park again. And probably Avatar two more times. But Star Wars stuff. So give me all the Star Wars stuff. I brought back that. I brought back a couple other pieces, I think. I'm going to bring the R the big R2 next year. I love that thing. I'm like, I've got to make all this disappear. I mean, like, you know. That's Disney. And there's something else from Disney that uh, I asked him to look for. He's going to Epcot to find for me. Let's see, back to Star Wars. Um, that holiday Wookiee. Always oh, can't see him. This Holly Wookie. I bought another one before too, so I got another Holly Wookie for sale. He didn't buy that, but it was still uh, a lot of the droids. Always the droids. Didn't I got the Mickey Mouse painted chopper figure? So give me a second. I'm trying to go with everything. I think I showed this before. I'm not selling it yet. But you know the Slurpee. Slurpee Mountain Dew. Yoda Head. Thankfully, I was just a dirt. Okay. Clean I am now. Yes. Clean I am. Yes. I still got that cereal. I never took out of the box. Never took it out of the box. Got to, got to, got to. Uh, I think, see, from here. Oh, yeah, the, um. He got this for my birthday. So, I love the color scheme. So, I had to get this one. This was, um. Um. C14B. Okay, he's got um, rolling. Um, wind up toy with sound effect. Oh. Okay, he's turned on. It's a wind-up toy. Oh, show me how to wind them up. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh.
That was pathetic, uh, Disney. I have no idea. No idea. It's, it's, it's in... But... Pathetic, Disney. Pathetic. He's got a thermal detonator. These are like four dollars each. We went on a ride. We went on um Toy Story Land, Toy Story Land, um Toy Story Land. We went on uh, the Alien Swirling Saucers. Oh my lord. Take a spin with the adorable aliens from Toy Story. Whoa. When we went there, there are two of these. They're freshly opened. Because they easily open and took a sip and they left them there. Four dollars each. I got two. Both coke, but poured them out, cleaned them out. There was um, an R two there. I took the picture. Uh, BB eight was next to him. So I got pictures of them. Uh, well, the, like I said, you, the Star Wars toys through, through Disney I got. Uh, today, there's a place called um, Bargain Deals. Last week they had, uh, no, two weeks ago they had some stuff. When I was on vacation. So this week, it's an Asia, Asia, Asia Ventures. Oh. And, you know, from last week. So... If I, well, tomorrow I got to work, but if I saw it again next week, we go in like on Wednesday because every day it changes prices. So Tuesdays is four bucks. If I, if we go in next Wednesday, just to see if that's there for two bucks, I will get it for two bucks. I'll grab the other Yoda for two bucks too. As in, um, boink. Four dollars today. Card is binged up, binged up, dinged up. This one's slightly dinged up. But it's the battle damage one. It's like, holy hell, the battle damage TIE fighter. I never seen this one in the stores. I never seen the other one either. Yoda one either. And I um I spent some money on Amazon getting it. <clears throat> If the Yoda's uh, Star Starfighter and Asia Ventures Starfighter are still there next week at two dollars, I will grab them. I had to do this because I bought two of them off of eBay, and this for four bucks, I had to break bring down my numbers just because, just to break the price barrier down. That's why I got the Yoda too. So I'll open up them soon. I really specifically wanted this not because of the cuteness of Yoda's Star Cruiser, Star, um, his Jedi Starfighter, because it had R2 in it. You know, you know, R2, R2. <laughs> and after all this time, like um, the Falcon came when I got it from Amazon for twenty-five bucks. What a deal! Han, Chewie, Leia, and Obi Wan. The Someone had an exclusive. They took out Obi-Wan and put Luke in it instead. I have not seen the Target exclusives because Targets suck. 
and these people are like, oh, I got the exclusive here. And like, I don't. I want at least one, one of the four. Uh, you know, from uh, episode two, Attack of the Clones, the big ship that carried the clones. L A A T. When they're over the desert, like flying there, and the big old ship. That one has an extra clone, has a clone pilot, four clone troopers, and a bark spear. So I would like to get one of the two exclusives they have, but they only have the regular one with two figures. I want the one with the four figures and the extra the extra vehicle. One's Salacious Crumb, one's uh, another one I can't remember. But something like that, just to get those extra clone troopers and clone pilot. Because the company, this company is not making figures. People have been asking for figures. Like, no, we're not doing it. Screw you. And I keep hoping they'll release... Um, Say land speeder. I mean, the land speeder would have Luke three PO, R two Obi Wan. Never mind, I'm wrong about that. It would at least have Luke and three PO, because three PO is driving while Luke is looking for R two. So yes, Luke and three PO with the land speeder, perfect. Then I'll have all the figures to go with the Falcon. Because I, uh, the one from Disney, that disappeared. John did not get that for me. I was, you know, because he would have. I mean, it's Star Wars. And that was a park exclusive. I mean, we got to fly the Falcon. And that's nothing. I'm not a great pilot. I crashed the Falcon a couple times. But it was the guy and Chewie and his, that guy... I'm not good with names. But when you go on the flying the Falcon, that dude with his R R five unit and Chewie, those three figures were part of that uh Millennium Falcon set, which was ninety four dollars. Ninety four dollars. I mean the freaking Jawa Sandcrawler was seventy five bucks and you know how big that thing was? Well the size of the Millennium Falcon is about the same thing, so you know. It's scale, so I guess so. But he didn't get it for me, so it must have sold out. Didn't need it. It would been cool to... I wanted to hold my hands. But he didn't give that to me, so... Yeah. Three years, what do you expect? Things changed at Disney. For him to get me the things he got me, it was like, what? I already have this stuff. What? Did, what? This R2 unit? What? So... I was at the Daytona Flea Market on Sunday. Went to storage first. I think I know where two other pieces I need, but that was Masters Universe stuff. That's another the other video. Found I went three pieces. I found one. The other two had to be in the box, not in the bin. I'll get to it next year. I'm not gonna order them again. I'm not gonna go stacking them up. No, 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 no. I just want one King Hiss and one Thunder Punch He-Man, and they'll sit in storage. But went from storage room to Daytona. Found this. I paid tax. The woman was white, blah, 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 blah. Wouldn't give it to me for five bucks. Had to pay the tax on it. So I'm digging out the coins. But get this. White Vader. So you can say, eh, okay, this is from uh, Star Wars Infinity's comic book when he became a good guy at the end. Not really. But still. Don't fall over. Don't fall over, don't fall over. Let me see if I get this here. Yeah, Avengers. Ain't I lucky? They only had one Vader. Says Avengers. I'm lucky. Bag is kind of torn, so I'm not worried about taking it out. I'm just leaving it in here for now. I'll put another bag, just or just... When I get all this thing care of, I'm going to have uh, some kind of board of such. Maybe a cork board. That'd be interesting. I mean, I'd be interested to have a cork board. Just have everything dangling from the cork board. Right now, he'll be above um, the magic eight ball. The magic talking thing. Vader. 
Magic 8 Ball Vader. Yeah. Magic 8 Ball Vader. And. And. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. So that little thing didn't make any sounds. I had no idea how to work it. Didn't know it made sounds. Got to remove the batteries. Got to remember that. Thanks, Disney, for screwing things up. On that, too. Um, give me a second. Let's see what I got. Anything handy in the box. Okay, the rest is pretty much in storage, but because um, he built me, you know, with a remote control droids, I got an R, R2 unit, and the R series, and come up with the, in those the sets things, you know, sets. So he's like, "What do you want to get?" I said, "Well, they had the ones with the guns, and all those years ago when they released Attack R5D4, I said, droids don't have that stuff. They're not supposed to have that stuff, and." For my droid, well, I'm not good with a gun. Hence the scar on my finger. That's another story. I did go in shock. Uh, then I want the rocket boosters on the legs. Like, well, I'm a good in flying because I proved that when I crashed the Falcon so many times on the ride. Uh, the switching of the panels. Like, well, I mean, I said, you built me the droid. You had the color set the way you are. I'm not going to change the color scheme on it. Uh, the drinking tray from Jedi. R2 was using that. I said, well, I only drank for a year. So I was like, don't, we don't drink. So, And all the glasses were green liquid. So they all had green milk. Didn't have the variety like the other ones. Or the, even the small Christmas one, the Christmas spirit R4 unit, which I never put on the drinks on her. I just have the ghost the spirit. Like, well, maybe this show put the Christmas spirit in. His Christmas spirits. So I'm drink it, drink it. You know. I'm not gonna drink. So I figure, well, toolkit. You know, toolkit's nice. Comes with, connects to your R series droid, elect, electric prod, yeah. computer terminal arm, power charger arm, data probe, giggity, grasping arm. How's it? Oh, that's grasping, yeah. Grasping arm, giggity, giggity. And the utility saw. I'm more, this is more my style of, you know, the tool, I got the tools, I'll satisfy you. Don't walk away. That's more fitting for my droid than the other things. Since, again, not a good pilot, not a good gunner. I'm not a drinker, so with little tools like that, you know, I carry a box cutter, carry a flashlight. So I'm down to a small one now. Put it in my pocket. I carry a comb. You know, these are tools. So when I dig them up again, he got me this one. I was kind of. I mean, he also got me the droid, you know, the, the droids that you see uh, when you get to the park. I, I didn't, I don't, I honestly don't remember if I got that one, but I have two of this one. Because he bought this for me, and he forgot he did. He, this was like one of the things that he bought me when we were like, had another store there. Oh my God, he said, I don't remember that. And, and then he did, he bought the same thing for me. So I brought this one home just because uh, the R3 med. Say, okay, I'm either gonna take them out or so I love droids. R3T2, uh, Ned B, Viper probe droid, one jack. I may take them out of the package and just sell off the other one. I may have another one. Who knows? A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I need to go through. Like I said, um, oh, I got this dude. You know, I got, 
I was in my, trying to get the pieces to make my ideal display. Like uh, when I want to do a scene contemplating the whole thing for Around the Millennium Falcon, I have a Friar, Friar Tuck from Robin Hood, which is a passable figure for the original human Jabba. I have the one figure that needs to be painted to match the job in the comic book and Jabba himself with Han. So the the bay. Oh, that that dude. I mean, oh man, I forgot about. Yeah, that other bounty hunter guy. Okay. Do some little research after this. Put him with Chewbacca. Yeah. And on the other side. Yeah, with his droid head. Ooh. What's it? Um, maybe it's a listener here. Um, Star Wars Galaxy. We did not go in Rise of Resistance because it's a four hour wait. Um, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. We did that. See a cast member for assistance. Oh, for assistance. Fly the fastest ship in the galaxy while hurling through hyperspace. Yeah. I was a co pilot. I crashed it. Cat Saka's Kettle. I don't think we did that. Milk Stand. We did Milk Stand. Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. We had that. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was... Droid Depot. I think we went in there. Yeah, I got a lot of pictures. The Market Merchants looked around there, too. There was one thing I did want, and he didn't. Surprised at all the things that he asked me if I wanted, and he didn't get that for me, which. It was kind of ceramic, and I really don't have a place for it, so, yeah. It was the Falcon in the, the that bay, the place. The other one was a hangar. Had a Falcon hanging on there and flying off, per se. So, it was a nice thing. I kind of wanted, but, you know. And strange, he wanted to get me odd thing, Odd, odd things. Like, he didn't get me that one. I'm not going to push it. I mean, I have pictures of it. That's all that really matters. And when it comes down to it, everything is just pictures. Everything has to be sold. But, um... It's still a great time. Do you remember anything else? Star Wars here. That's all I can think of for now. Uh, well, you know, 3PO. I've painted his... or 3PO? I just saw him. Oh, he's up top. He's on the. There. I knew he had to prime his primer his leg. So I painted it silver years ago and it's just sticky. So I'll clean off his leg, prime it up, paint it silver. I'll be good. But he's in there for now. We oh, have yeah, the Falcon. So I had the idea with the. Because I don't have the. The big giant falcon that was like more scale than original toy but i got the first release first when they re-released it for power of the force so i was thinking that little scene with han the three jabba's and boba fett that uh smuggler dude with his r5 unit with chewbacca so i need to look on i can look for him with his droid i know i have his droid i'm sure i have his droid forget about that that's with the falcon the deleted scene when they're on tattooing with sandstorm i have all those figures throwing three people in r2 with chewy han luke leia lando which will leave uh we'll go with uh general lando and nia numb in the cockpit and inside I was thinking inside I had Chewy there's plenty of Chewbacca's. Chewbacca with three PO and R two. Obi Wan with Luke with the helmet on and Han maybe. Or is it before Han gets there or whatever? So basically I would have Obi Wan and Luke inside the Falcon. And let me just one of the other Chewbacca's just set him in there and see if he can sit in the in the chair with three PO and R two there. 
it's kind of like the multi scene of everything that's happened in the Falcon, despite not having really having Leia. Putting towel, putting the coat over Luke's, eh. or Bespin Luke and Leia kissing him, like eh. smoochy, smoochy, or Lando wearing Han's clothes. Not gonna go to Solo. I mean, I like Solo. I had no problem with Solo. But this, I'm just counting the original trilogy figures, and of course the the smuggler guy because he's in the ride. It's part of the ride. He's the one that's telling you, pull up, pull up. Oh, you know, well, that's not good. Uh, I can't pilot. So that's all I can think of for this half hour episode, 31 minute episode. While the other one is four minutes left, this one will be a couple more hours. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, tell your friends. And don't forget my fan page on Facebook. Reverend Amagon on YouTube where I'll be dumping more pictures now that I have three days off an extra day to clean and just to diversely clean up my page and always remember time waits and turns slowly